Jake Palmer at Remax here. We're at 645 Gondola Point Road, beautifully renovated waterfront home in Quispam Sis. One of the great things about this end of the Gondola Point Road is that um, we're past the Quispam Sis Road, and uh, so all the traffic um, tends to be local down here. You don't have people kind of driving by. Further up the Gondola Point Road, it tends to be a busy, uh, a busy stretch, but here it's really private, and uh, the only cars you see coming by are the people that live down here. So we'll go in through the front door. We'll give you a tour from here. So coming in the side entrance, we've got ceramic tile. Coat closet over to the right. Garage over to the left. Uh, first door giving access to the deck. And then from that mudroom area, you come right into the main living space. And so as you can see, beautifully renovated kitchen. Tons of cabinet space quartz counters and really beautiful hardwood floors throughout. One of the great things about this home is that uh, it was really nicely upgraded top to bottom so it's not one of these homes that was kind of done piecemeal room by room so the whole home has a really consistent aesthetic and really nice detail work. Nice island in the center with seating and as you can see really big space for a dining room table. So if you want a big dining set, you've got room for it here. It's about two in the afternoon um, in early September and you can see it just gets beautiful light from the south facing side coming down here. Nice view of the side deck, but just really commanding views of the river as well throughout. Mini split, mini split heat pump on this level. Nice big living room, and as you can see, there's large furniture in here, uh, but the layout is such that it really accommodates big furniture without the house having to be too, too big. But great view of the river. Wood burning fireplace. Just to reorient ourselves, we've got the staircase going up there. Another view of the kitchen. Full bath on the main floor. So shower, vanity, flush around the corner. We do have a bedroom on this level. It's kind of set up as a studio space, but easily could accommodate a bed. Lots of storage here, so built-in cabinet there, but closet around the corner. And again, those consistent hardwood floors throughout. We'll go up first. One of the things I love about this house is that it was really well thought out to make sure that the important rooms are taking advantage of the view, and you'll see that as we go through. Uh, there's a closet here at the end of the hallway upstairs, but really nice big master bedroom. So easily enough room for a king size bed if you wanted. But as you can see, fantastic views of the river. Walk through to the uh, main bathroom up here. So ceramic tile floors, full tub. Of course, that tub looks up towards the river as well. Beautiful, large tiled shower. Double vanity, lots of space there. Also in the master bedroom, got a huge walk-in closet, so tons of space here, it goes right down to the far end. So tons of storage. There's a second bedroom upstairs. With built-in bunk beds. So the house has really been maximized to make sure that A, all the important rooms, as I said before, face the river. Um, as you'll notice as we go through it, there are very few lights turned on. It gets beautiful natural light throughout. But even just through really well thought out floor plans and really well thought out built-ins, um, it really packs a lot of punch for, uh, with it being a huge home that's a lot to maintain. 
Heading downstairs, we've got another bedroom. Big closet over on the side here. Lots of room for a big bed here. And again, I hate to keep repeating myself, but facing out towards the river here. Another nice big living room. And again, room for nice big furniture. And this faces out towards the river as well, need I say it. Sliding door. One of the great things about this is that if you had company that was coming, going, or staying, um, they could have a bedroom down here, kind of camp up down, camp out down here, and come and go from the outside. There's a staircase that we'll see in a minute that goes up there. Uh, and this area has another three-quarter bath. So shower, vanity flush, laundry's down here. There's lots of storage on the end. And then we've got a big um, unfinished area for the basement as well. So tons of storage down here. Utilities. Lots of unfinished storage space. And one of the really good setups here, especially for the for a waterfront property, is you've got outdoor access from over here. So if you're bringing in kayaks, canoes, boating equipment, you don't have to drag it through the house, but you can drag it in. You can pull it in here and have really great access. So if you want to store here, this is underneath the garage area. Tons of seasonal storage here without it being uh, something you've got to carry through the house. So again, just really well thought out home that really takes advantage of being in the water. And you can tell the people who use the water, whether it's for boating, things like that, really put a lot of thought into how the house is set up. So going out to the deck from the lower level, as you can see, we've got a nice seating area here. One of the great things about this stretch of the Gondola Point Road and this house in particular is that a lot of times on the Gondola Point Road, you have virtually shared beaches. But as you'll see in this one, it's a really nice private beach, which is really uncommon. It's a great multi-level deck too. So it's a nice sandy beach, but when you're down here, you don't feel like you're sharing a beach with your neighbors. It really is your own private sandy beach. In the summer, the sun sets right over here, so dead across. In the winter, it's gonna be just down river. So no matter what, you're gonna get beautiful views of the sunset. And one, things that, one of the things that people forget on this stretch of the river is that this is great outdoor space. So when this freezes over, it's great for cross-country skiing, skidooing, even just hiking. It's really a beautiful spot, but again, I can't emphasize enough. The nice thing here is that you've got a really nice private beach where you don't feel like you're on the neighbor's beach too when you're down having a bonfire. And you know, one of the other nice things is from the road, it's, uh, it's a discreet home. It doesn't look large and ostentatious. But you can see it's three stories of home that uh, all points towards the river. And we'll go to the top deck too. All the decks, all the stairs, all the railings, everything's in really nice shape. So this is that outdoor access that I pointed out earlier where you can uh, haul stuff in seasonally without coming through the house. And this is the main deck here with room for a barbecue, nice glass railing. Nice thing with a glass railing like this is that uh, on a windy day, you're not being blown around too much. It's nice and uh, it calms it down quite a bit. We'll go into the side door here. And back into the main level dining area and kitchen area. So that concludes the video tour for 645 Gondola Point Road. If you have any questions about this property, please feel free to give me a call. I can be reached at 650-0092, area code 506, or jake at jakepalmer.ca. Thanks very much.